welcome to Sissy Dyer Potter. Hi guys, this is Rishi. Today we're going to be making my all-time favorite mini pizzas. Let's start off with some information about pizzas. Did you guys know that it was invented by the baker Raffaello Esposito? And its birthplace was in Naples. Here, yeah, I also made another one, which is much bigger than the other one. So first, you're going to be needing some yeast, some warm water and a bowl to start with. Take one and a half spoon of yeast and mix it in with warm water and let it set for 20 minutes. Let's start making the pizza base. For that, you're going to be needing all-purpose flour, some olive oil, water, yeast and some salt. Take two cups of all-purpose flour and transfer them into a bowl. Next, add some salt. You can add as many required. Next, take one and a half tablespoon of olive oil and pour it into the flour. Next, add the yeast and the water mixture that we just mixed and knead it up. For the kneading part, I'm asking my mom's help. After you knead it down, wrap it in cling foam and let, let it set for 5 to 6 hours. So it's been five to six hours and look at how puffy it is. So this is how we want a dough to be when we're making pizzas. And next you want to separate, transfer it to another surface. So after that, you want to dust your surface and you want to make small balls because we are going to make mini pizzas. So yeah, like this. And you want to press it down. My brother also made one tiny one. So you want to push it in with your fingers. Let's move on to the top. For the topping, you're going to be needing red bell pepper, some green bell pepper and corn. And then you're going to be using hot chilies flakes, pizza mix, some oregano, some cheese grated, Tomato sauce. Apply a layer of tomato sauce on each of the pizza. Next, add some mozzarella cheese on each of the pizzas after you apply the tomato sauce. Then add the rest of the toppings. So I'm now adding corn, pizza mix and oregano and some chili flakes. Next, you want to take it over to the oven. Before, make sure that you have preheated the oven at maximum temperature and then place it on the grill and keep it for 20 minutes. So let's start picking some basil. So I'm picking some basil from my garden. So yeah, and I'm gonna put this in this cute pot. Finally, our pizza is ready. To top it off, we're going to add some tiny, a tiny basil to finish it off. Ooh, that looks so mouth-watering. I can't wait to taste this. And let's cut it open before we taste it. I hope you all try this recipe out. Do Please comment in the comment box below. Thanks for watching.